Hi, I'm Sean, an engineer. I'm Diane, an interaction designer. We're part of the team building Relay, a new UI tool chain for better designer-developer collaboration. Diane and I are going to tell you a bit about the problems we're solving and how Relay can help you. Today, delivering pixel-perfect UI is slow, inaccurate, and complicated. It requires a ton of back and forth between designers and developers. It requires fragmented design artifacts living in files, emails, tickets, etc. And design intent, such as color, typefaces, and behavior, is misinterpreted or simply lost in the swirl of collaboration. We refer to this phenomenon as the handoff problem. It's one of the biggest frustrations we've experienced in our own work, and when we speak to you all, we hear about this challenge again and again. Today, we're excited to release an alpha version of Relay for Android, our first big step towards solving the handoff problem. At the heart of Relay is a simple but powerful idea, a shared model for UI components that allows constant collaboration between designers and developers. We call this a UI package. Using this model, early users of Relay are finding they can go from design to implementation much faster and can update and iterate more quickly. I'll hand it off to my colleague Diane to give you a sense for how this works. Thanks, Sean. Relay works by translating UI designs from Figma into Jetpack Compose code. And this workflow is enabled by plugins for Figma and Android Studio. Using the Relay Figma plugin, you can create UI packages to be used in Android apps. In Figma, you can mark which elements should be dynamic, such as text or images, and also specify which elements support gestures, creating opportunities to encode behavior and logic. When ready, you can import UI packages from Relay using the Android Studio plugin. UI packages live in your codebase as updatable, inspectable artifacts, and they're automatically converted to composables for use in your project, like any other code. Dynamic elements and interaction handlers defined in Figma become parameters, allowing developers to provide real data and behavior for components. Properties like color, typography, shape, and flexible layout are all carried through. Assets such as images and font files are placed in the right locations so you don't have to waste time looking for them. As Sean mentioned, Relay provides a shared model for teams to work with. When UI packages are updated in Figma, you can then apply these updates in your Android project at the click of a button whenever you're ready. Many of our customers are using design systems to build their apps, and Relay supports that as well. Component libraries in Figma and their code implementations make it easier for us to design and build at scale. That's why we built the Relay workflow to also capture design system information. Relay supports color and type styles, allowing designs with Figma styles to be translated into Compose themes. This allows you to use tokens and variables like surface or title instead of raw values, which can be really useful when changing the theme of your app. Design systems can also have components, some with code implementations containing behavior that can be hard to describe in a Figma file. In these situations, you can define a mapping between a Figma component and their implementation and code. This allows you to create designs in Figma that reference custom components written by your developers. And Relay for Android Studio will use the custom implementation instead of generating new code. You can also supply properties for these implemented components using the Figma plugin. Visual properties like placeholder or non-visual properties like accessibility labels are piped into the composable as parameter values. Last year at ADS, we shared a glimpse of what we're building, and today we're happy to announce the open alpha release of Relay for anyone to use. We are committed to a better way of building, where more time is spent answering product questions than documenting them, where small details aren't lost in translation, and where designers and developers have a shared understanding of a product's experience. Relay is an early product, and we'd love for you to use it and tell us how it does and doesn't meet your needs. The best way to get started is to head over to relay.material.io. If you're interested in working directly with our team, you'll be able to sign up to join our research and early access programs there. We'll also be hosting a live stream for a deeper dive on how to use Relay. We're just getting started on this journey and have some big plans ahead of us. Relay is currently an alpha product, and we'll be making regular releases that include improvements to performance, 
translation, and overall workflow based on your feedback. The handoff problem is something we all face, and we are truly excited to work with you to shape this future. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.